Hello. Happy Saturday. How's it going? Oh, hang on. Get this out of the background. Also, this box. How's it going? Happy Saturday. It's uh, been a little bit. So, last time I streamed was two weeks ago. And, uh, what did we do? We did do that, like, that diary dream stuff, where, where, like, Nier was, like, really old. There was, like, another time skip, kind of, but kind of not as well, because it wasn't, I don't think it was actually real. Um, and then, one thing was that, um, yeah, we were pretty much doing, like, the same kind of thing that we did in the last playthrough. Where we, we were farming an eagle egg a little bit to upgrade our phoenix spear, but I kind of gave up on that. And I just didn't want to spend the time to do it on stream. So we kind of uh, just, we finished up this part of the quest uh, to find all the fragments. And I think next we, oh wait, I think we already did the memory for, or the mystic forest? Or the memory place, the memory tree or something or whatever. Um, and now... I think we might go back to Popola. We might be nearing the end of this playthrough. This route. Yeah. So I wasn't live last week because I went out of town. I went to Bend, Oregon for a um, bachelor party. That was a really good time overall. Very beautiful area. Maybe Popol has found some information about the Shadow Lord. Let's drop by the village. That was really the intent. Well. <laughs> yeah, I did a little bit of kayaking. Uh, just a lot of hung hanging out, actually. I mean, because we got a lodge out there, and there's a bunch of guys. It was, it was really nice. We had a hot tub. <laughs> okay. Yeah, okay, so the last key fragment was that one? No? Hey, Popola. Ah, you're back. I remember <coughs> I remember that Popola and Devil are on the Shadow Lord's side the whole time. Do not trust. Have you learned anything more about the Shadow Lord's key? I'm sorry, but it's going to take me some time yet. I see. Well, can I take something off your plate in the meantime? Hmm. Oh, is this with the man with the red bag? Oh, how about this? You know the ferryman. Uh, what right? to do all this too? All right. Well, he's been skipping out on work lately. Can I ask you to go to Seafront and check on him? Sure thing. I forgot we were not as close as I thought to being done with this game, <laughs> which is fine. Or at least this route. What I'm finding strange is how. This feels alarmingly familiar. Oh! I'm sure that couple is merely having another one of their inane spats. Let us do our utmost not to get dragged into it this time, hmm? Um... I was saying that... I think it's odd how similar these routes are. That there's very few differences between them, I feel like. <clears throat> Like, we got some scenes with, like, Emil's past and uh, Kaine's past. But, 
but that's really all. I mean, hmm. Like, this is ultimately the same route with a little bit more context. Oh, it's the rollers. Oh, I got an orange. Broken saw. Oh, I got a rare drop. Use color and book no <laughs> We're getting like more humanity out of the shades between like everything that happened at the junkyard with the brother. And I forget the little guy the little shade's name. It's like a child shade. I forgot his name. But he befriended the robot there. So we're getting more context on that too. Oh, okay. Yeesh, I don't think I've ever seen fog this thick before. This is a postman, not the ferryman. It's different. Huh? What's that? Oh, is this when he discovers the girl on the ship for the first time? We're gonna get more context about this girl in the shade in here too then. Okay, that'll be interesting. I remember how creepy this area was. I thought it was like pretty cool. I don't need anything like super scary, but I do like a little suspense, you know? Oh god, it's over. My life is over. What's wrong? Oh hey, I remember you. You're the ones who helped us out way back when. Seeing as we've come all this way, I suppose we had best ask, what is the matter? I had a fight with my husband, and he ran away from home. Mm -hmm, yes, yes. You may color me utterly flabbergasted. <laughs> I like his sass. But it's all that idiot's fault. Oh, my bad. I was saving up a bunch of apples, and he went and ate ten of them. That's actually insane, though. That's actually sort of impressive. Yeah, I said that last time. Well, sure, I, I may have lost my temper a little, but I can't believe he just up and left. He's been gone for a week now, and it's... <laughs> all right, all right. We'll help you find him. <laughs> really? Oh, thank you so much. All right. And here we go again. Shall we begin by asking around at the tavern like before? Hey there. I'm looking for the guy with the red bag. You seen him around lately? Really? Is that couple fighting again? Yeah, the guy took off and hasn't been seen since. I take it this isn't a surprise? Hardly. Their arguments are legendary. We're actually considering selling tickets as a tourist <laughs> attraction. Anyway, I think he's from that village with the library. Maybe he went back home. I think his brother is a guard there or something. Thanks for the tip. I'll see what I can figure out. Can we just say? Yeah. Um... Can we skip that part? Or can we just go straight to the ship? I doubt that we can skip asking his brother. All right, postman. Hard to believe a ship of this size managed to run aground. Hmm, what was that? Hey, is someone there? Okay, I definitely heard someone cough just now. Maybe it's one of those kids from town? Where are they? 
Does that man not have a light? He's insane. There you are. What are you doing here, kid? And who are you, anyway? Were you a passenger on this ship, maybe? <laughs> hey, it's okay. You don't need to be scared. She's tricking you, man. She's tricking you. Or maybe she's not tricking him. I don't think she's evil. I think that couple's petty squabbles have become something of an attraction for the locals. Doesn't surprise me in the least. Seeing people like that puts a little spring in your step, you know? You humans truly are a maddening bunch. Such buffoonery does little more than wear this old tome out. Okay. I can't skip it. Alright, maybe if we talk to, like, Mary... After every part of the quest, we'll get like a little bit more context each time. So maybe they just use them as like checkpoints. Alright, so we have to go talk to the guard's brother, or the uh, red bag man, the ferryman's brother. Oh wow, okay. Already another scene. Hey there. How are you feeling? <laughs> well, your cough seems better at least. Check it out. I brought you some bread today. there I'm gonna eat a cookie jeez you must have been starving well look no one's gonna take this from you so just take it easy so you don't choke on it okay So, what were you doing on this boat, kid? Actually, scratch that. First things first. I can't just keep calling you kid. You got a name? Well, this is going nowhere fast. <laughs> Let's see. Hmm. Louise. Yeah, what about Louise? I mean, it just sort of popped into my head, but... What do you think? <laughs> Guess you're okay with it. Well, it's nice to meet you, Louise. Hmm. She enjoyed getting a name. We searched the Southern Plains back when the wife ran off too, right? I believe we did, yes. Lots changed since then. So it's kind of nice when we find something that hasn't. The fact that couple is still arguing almost fills me with... I don't know, hope, I guess. If you ask me, that particular couple could <coughs> benefit from a little change. you what's up what's up you're related to the ferryman who carries a red bag around right yeah he's my little brother haven't seen him in a while though a shame have you any idea where he may have absconded to not a clue like I said I haven't seen him oh that's unfortunate oh but the last time I did see him he said something about using his ferry to deliver letters Maybe you should try talking to someone at the post office. I guess we could ask the postman over in Seafront. Just once, I would enjoy receiving a quest that can be sold in the general vicinity of the Asker. So true. That quest suck. Ah, 
I cannot believe how many trips we have made simply to track down a single man. It's all right to do this kind of thing every now and then. <laughs> I only pray this is not the calm before some manner of storm. Uh huh. There, lad, Definitely have not. You ever a missive? You mean a letter? No. Ooh. I'm not big on writing. I don't think I've ever done that before. Forever to figure out what I want to say. So the question, hey there, Louise. the question is, is she going to eat him, or is she gonna kill him somehow? I remember. Hey, where'd you get that red bag? Uh oh. Found it on the ship, did you? <laughs> you kids are so darn curious about everything. Anywho, it's good to see you. Afraid I don't have any bread today, but I did bring you something. Here, it's a ribbon. Let me tie it in your hair for you. Well, what do you think? Pretty nice, huh? <laughs> huh, what's that on the floor? Is that body? Oh, it's a mirror. Well, that's a stroke of luck. Let's go ahead and check out your new look. Ah, oh, that's not the body. <laughs> if you go over there where it's brighter, you'll be able to see yourself more clearly. Uh, what's wrong? Don't you want to see? Oh, I see. You don't like sunlight. Guess your eyes are pretty sensitive after spending all this time in the dark, huh? This guy is too naive. <laughs> well, it's not like we can have you stay here forever. We should work on getting you out of here so you and me can go look at the sea together. How's that sound? Where did that enormous ship even come from? Our post office time. Hey, post. Oh, sorry. You're not him. I'm sure as hell not. I just swung by to pick up a letter and wound up running the damn place. That's so funny. Anyway, you here for a package or something? Uh, no. There's this couple who's always fighting, and the husband took off. So I'm trying to track him down. Ring any bells? <laughs> sorry, pal. You're asking the wrong guy. Still. That's pretty weird. My buddy's daughter took off too. Maybe running away is the cool thing to do now. I find it exceedingly unlikely this pair of runaways is mere coincidence. Any idea where she might have went? That is the question, isn't it? Actually, you know what? I bet she went to check out the huge shipwreck that drifted into the inlet the other day. Not often something like that comes around. It's all the kids have been talking about. Okay. I will do a save here real quick. Hey, oh, Louise. Got... I brought your food for today. We got color. Hang on. Let me pause here for a sec. Crack my back. <laughs> What's wrong? Aren't you hungry? Huh. You haven't been eating much lately. Hungry Are for you? you? Okay? <laughs> well then, let's try this. They didn't drown with an instrument? <laughs> or animate him with an instrument or anything? <laughs> yeah, sorry about that. It's called a song. Humming a jaunty tune is the best thing for putting a spring in your step. Wait, he hummed that? That's not a hum, man. Songs are like a little bit of wisdom that makes the tough times easier. 
I love him personally. I mean, not that I'm any good at singing. KK Slider over here. What's up, Shane? How are you? Welcome in. How's your How's your evening off last night? They're kind of insane at humming. Oh, your voice is a bit rough there. Why couldn't they put like any effort into their humming in the humming? <laughs> it is not it is like not a hum. But you're actually pretty good. Huh. You know, I knew someone who lived in the town lighthouse before she died. Played a bunch of Octopath. Nice. Where are you at in that game? She used to hum this same song a lot. Are you are you past chapter twos? I heard it every time I stopped by to deliver something, and I guess it just kind of stuck. Of course, that was quite a while ago. <laughs> hey, are, are you trying to cheer me up? <laughs> you are a kind soul, Louise. Back 60 hours in on everybody's last individual tr oh nice I should I mean I could I could play on stream then right that sounds like <laughs> for sure I'm sensing some really weird magic going on here sunshine you feeling it too yeah is it a shade <laughs> are you actually trying to think something through rather than just jumping in and killing what's wrong Kaine? Nothing. It's just... I'm sensing a presence from Seafront. Something like a shade. For sure? Nice. Maybe I'll make that my next game then. I've been really wanting to play it. A shade in the town? That's not good. What was my game before this? Is it Ocarina? A shipwreck, no. is it? I suppose we might as well investigate, seeing as how we lack any other tenable leads. Right. Let's head for the inlet. Kaine. Emil. What's going on? I haven't seen you two come into Seafront in, well, ever, I guess. Sorry for the surprise. Kaine said she sent something strange in the area. Strange how? Like a shade? Maybe. I'm not sure. There's some kind of sound or something coming from up ahead. What an incredibly specific piece of information the hussy has graced us with. <laughs> what is it, Kaine? Nothing. Let's get moving. Oh, posture check. All right, all right, friend. How are you? Welcome in. I haven't had a redemption in a while. All right. We're gonna need to figure out some way to get inside that thing. I'm Jamie. This ship is in a state of want and decay. Surely we can find a hole or some such if we put our minds to it. Oh, but also it's sleepy time because you missed your nap today. You nap every These day. Planks seem to be covering a rather large hole. We can probably get in if we move him out of the way. I'm worried about whatever it is Kaine is sensing. We should make sure we're really prepared before going inside. Go inside, yes. Alright, I'll be right back one sec. So, were you able to write that letter? some meds that make you very sleepy gotcha i see well i hope you sleep well tonight then so were you able to write that letter you know now that i've taught you how hey taught her how to write that was pretty quick no 
Not yet, huh? Well, there's certainly no reason to rush. <laughs> you know, it makes me happy that you've taken such a shine to me. Such a shine. First time we met, I didn't have the foggiest idea what was going on in that head of yours. <laughs> she, she still doesn't talk. So, hey, I've been thinking. <sighs> oh no. How about you come live with me? It might be kind of nice to have a daughter around. That was quite a, uh, quite a step. She literally hasn't talked yet. into it huh guess I should have figured I'm sad to hear it but it's your choice of course hey I like your accordion voice can I adopt you it's true I mean what wouldn't want who oh, wouldn't want to adopt her after that floors wet that blood man wait is this blood oh dear are you I think he's dead after that Oh, baby, that is one hell of a smell. We got something real nasty nearby, eh, Sunshine? So this guy, uh, Tyran is what I'm calling him because it sounds like tyranny. Um, Tyran is, uh, he is a shade that is possessing Kaine. Kind of. But they kind of, like, work together. It's kind of like, <laughs> I don't know, some anime that uh, Jujutsu Kaisen in some way or whatever. But he loves killing. He doesn't care if it's a shade or not. And so he just makes her kill too. And she likes killing shades, so it just works out. Come on, don't tell me you ain't picked up on it yet. You of all people gotta know what this smell means. This ship is in poor condition indeed. Do try not to thrash about and bring its timbers down around us, hussy. Whatever. <laughs> Whatever. Sure you're all right, Kane? You really shouldn't push yourself. Hey, I've got an idea. How about you and me search outside and get some nice fresh air in the process? That's so nice, Emil. Sure. Let's do that. Sounds good. Take care of Kane for us, Emil. Emil is on the case. Come on, Kane. Let's get the lead out. The lead out? What does that mean? This place is pretty gloomy. I'm having a hard time imagining any townsfolk hanging around here. Well, as we've no other leads, let the search begin. Outside light is in short supply. Uh huh? Look there, on the floor. I believe we have found ourselves a lantern. And there's still some oil in it. Nice. Nice. Bad girl. Wait, did you see that girl just now? I did indeed. How on earth did she manage to get behind us? Perhaps she is the runaway we heard tell of at the post office. Best track her down and take her back to town with us. Hmm? There's no one here. Weird. It's like we just saw a ghost. Oh, what foolishness. I am certain this room merely contains a secret passageway or the like. I like Vice. I like how he's like scared. A key. What is with this ship anyway? There may be clues somewhere that tell of how it ran aground. Looks really dark up ahead. Then perhaps we ought to make use of that lantern we just found, hmm? Mm. What's this? An apple. It's a bit bruised, but it's not super old or anything. 
I wager it was dropped by that fruit-loving ferryman with the red bag. Perhaps he absconded to this ship to wait out the storm after yet another spirited debate with his wife. Ah, oh, goodness. What a troublesome couple. Let's keep moving. Oh, what was that sound just now? Sounds like it came from the floor above us. Music stop. I'm not really scared about this, this part barrel's this time. been knocked over, and there's flour everywhere. Flour? A dust explosion. Surely it was toppled by the girl we saw at the entrance. Wait. Cast your eyes to the floor, lad. The missing child left white tracks in her passing. Should we follow them, I expect we will find our way to her. Man, this book's got some serious heft to it. Wonder what it's for. It would seem to be this ship's logbook. Let us avail ourselves of a gander. Hmm. Records of the routes it traveled, the weather it encountered, and the places it made port. All in a painstaking level of detail. I would expect no less for a vessel of this size. Until the day the records suddenly cease. What the hell happened on this ship? Bookshelf, right? Yeah, okay. Oh, no, no, I need to move that bookshelf first. Did you see that light on the other side of the shelves? A shame we cannot investigate further with these blasted things in our way. I would like a word with the interior designer who thought to put them here. Hang on, I think I can move these. There we go. Time to go through here. I'm a professional. Thousand G's. Totally need gold. There's a breeze coming through these shelves. That white vase is rather conspicuous. Try giving it a nudge. <laughs> a hidden room. How delightful. Can't stay long because you're at work, but you hope I'm doing well. Hey, Chase, welcome in. I hope you have a good day at work. Thanks for stopping in and saying hi. Hey, oh, there's uh, a notebook on this desk. Good. Oh, wow, this thing is crammed full of information. A record of the cargo they carried, no doubt. Let me see. By my pages, this ship was used by slavers. How simply atrocious. Wait, you're telling me they sold people? And made out quite handsomely from the transactions, it would seem. How could they do something like that? I do not know, nor do I care to ponder it. Let it suffice to say there are monsters who trade coin for misery in all corners of this accursed world. Okay. These chests are pretty huge. And what do they contain? Treasure, perhaps? I wish. Looks like a bunch of iron tools. Those are no mere tools, lad. They are instruments of torture. Mm. I shudder to think what evil transpired in this room. Evil! Passageway key, okay. There don't seem to be any shades around, at least. Fortunate for us. Now let no more time be wasted in our search for the townsfolk. White tracks end here. Wait, I hear something. That's her singing. She can talk. I forgot. Whatever that sound was, it stopped. I swear it sounded like a girl. This is a voice pipe. A contraption by which one's voice can travel to a faraway location. 
Which means the girl is in whatever room this pipe connects to. Hold a moment. I spy a chart of the ship's layout on the wall. <sighs> yes. This pipe connects to a cabin in the ship's stern. Onward and, uh, inward, I guess. This little lantern has brought us quite far, hasn't it? Yeah. And the light it gives off makes me feel, I don't know, safe somehow. Well, aren't we the romantic? Looks like somebody's journal. Here, let me see. It says the ship was attacked by some kind of monster. Seems like the person who wrote this holed up in here, while the monster roamed around the ship, killing everyone. Do you think that actually happened? I cannot say. Though the term monster might well be referring to a shade. The voice pipes here. The kitchen, is it? Heavens, look at the size of this saucepan. This must have been where they prepared meals for the crew. Hmm? There's a note stuck to the counter. Extra rice, whole peppers. Looks like the crew had some say over how they ate. <laughs> to be picky about one's food while at sea is a luxury indeed. Don't need those? I don't think. I can't imagine this fight being... I mean, the fights are... Damn. What the hell is this smell? The fights are only easier because I'm stronger than when I came in the first time. Perhaps it is wafting from further inside? Another apple. Just how many apples does that quibbling husband keep on his person while he's out and about? Let's keep searching. Apple fiends! Uh, Vice? I think the floor is... Speak to me, lad. Are you hurt? Uh, been better, but I'll live. I can't see a thing down here. And what is that terrible stench? I suspect we may have fallen into the ship's hold. The lantern got away from me during the fall. We'd better look for it. Have you still not found the lantern? We've no alternative but to scour the ground for it. Hmm? Weiss, that's it! We found the lantern. About time. Might I suggest you cease the celebratory fanfare and light the blasted thing already? Oh dear. Look at the bodies. They are all people from town. And, I fear, the missing ferryman. Oh no, this can't be real. Why? Why did he... Why did everyone have to... God damn it! Pull yourself together, lad. Remember the presence Kaine sensed? The culprit who murdered these poor folk likely awaits us further within. I won't let them get away with this. <laughs> That's enough, lad. Avert your eyes. Uh oh. She's losing her humanity. She's going gestalt. Why things turn out this way? Did he leave because of this body? I just want to be able to talk with him. <clears throat> I don't want him to be afraid of me. I don't want him to hate me. I want to maintain a human form. 
I want to look at the sun with my own eyes. I want to sing beautiful songs. Hey, Jordan. Good morning. How are ya? So if I can just eat more people. Maybe then I can become a human. You are what you eat. Speaking of which, I, uh, wait, hold on, let's wait hey for this. There, you two. So yesterday, I had my first doctor's appointment, like, physical, in my adult life, I think. <laughs> At least definitely since college. And, uh, it was scary. <laughs> I'm, so I'm really, really scared of needles. It's like, hate sharp things. So then I got, I got tetanus shot. I got blood work. It was all kind of necessary. Of course, I mean, I wouldn't have done it if I wasn't, if I didn't have a girlfriend. That she was just making me go, kind of. If she was encouraging me to go. But, uh, <laughs> doctor is like, uh, do you ever overeat? I was like, I was just thinking, come on, man, don't make me say it. <laughs> you already know the answer to that. <laughs> and he's like, do you exercise? I was like, no, not really. Encourage me to start exercising too. But otherwise, it went fine. No, I've definitely gained some weight. I've definitely gained like. So ever since college, in college I was around 145 ish, and I hadn't gained weight in the past like 10 years or almost 10 years, except for two years ago. I started gaining weight. Um. Yeah, which was surprising to me. Like. How could that happen to me? <laughs> so now I actually gotta like start watching it. It's not like absurd or anything, but it, it is something. Hey, I didn't know you guys came back inside. Did we ever? Found a nice hole in the wall to slide through. Gotta find a primary care doctor. I haven't figured that out since moving to Omaha. Mine is very close to me, which is nice. It's like, it's right, uh, it's like five minutes, less than five minutes away. But then, we heard a bunch of noise coming from that super dark floor downstairs. You sure had us worried. Yeah, sorry about that. You feeling better, Kaine? A little, yeah. Sorry for the trouble. Good. That's... Uh, that's good. Jeez, you seem really down in the dumps. Did something happen? <laughs> Tell me, Kaine, that presence you sensed. It's on the floor above us. I feared as much. It seems we've little choice but to press onward. Alright. Let's go kill this shade. Kill the girl. There's a bunch of crumpled up paper here. Letters, ah. maybe? They all seem to have the same words written upon them. But the penmanship is so poor I cannot make heads nor tails of it. She was trying to write letters. Because the postman taught her. <laughs> oh man, that smell is getting ripe. How you feeling there, sunshine? Not great. Can't you tell? Okay. All right, let's do it. This would be the final room, yes. The culprit who murdered the townspeople may be behind this very door. Let us proceed with utmost caution. It's that girl we saw when we first entered the ship. Old lad. This is a lone child sitting inside a hulking ship littered with corpses. Something is clearly amiss. There. Oh man, this shade is nuts! I think I'm in love. <laughs> you can feel her power hanging in the air, and she ain't even trying yet. <laughs> Things are finally heating up. Huh? Could this girl be the presence you sensed, Kaine? Hey, family. Oh, hey, it's you. 
Been a while. Wait, you're the postman. What are you doing here? Oh, I've been coming here a lot lately. I think this girl was on the ship when it drifted in. I've been keeping an eye on her until she's well enough to leave. Hey, so this is kind of awkward, but... The girl is, you know, bleeding? I brought a bunch of bandages with me, but, uh... Well, how exactly does one deal with a woman's time of the month? Man. S sorry. Sorry. Clearly crossed a line there. Forget I said anything. Man. Stay the hell away from her. She isn't... <laughs> So now that we actually understand what she's saying, or like see subtitles for her rather. Kind of, Emil. We'll figure something out. You just find a way to get the hell out of here. The two of them will be fine, but you and I must withdraw. The ship is collapsing. We must leave at once. Very much aware of that. Thanks. Let's go. They're in the way! Looks like we can get out through that hole up there! Easy? Okay. My Metroidvania now? Always have been, man. Glad you two made it out in one piece. Yeah, we're good. But that poor postman is still trapped inside. We'd better go help him out. One well, of those vacations you had to recover from, New York. I feel that's most of my vacations too nowadays. Though, I'm going to Sioux Falls just as an overnight trip in early July before the 4th. Like July 2nd. I'm going to stay overnight July 2nd. We'll come home July 3rd. That shouldn't be too bad. I don't think. No shade would dare pursue us into sunlight such as this. We should use the opportunity to ready ourselves. <laughs> what on earth? But you know, you started that Prince of Persia and Metroidvania back of it. It's so good. That's what I hear. Wait, which one is it? What's like the subtitle of it again? Like the full title? I want to see what she's saying. Why isn't this shade being hurt by the sun? That is not precisely the case. It most certainly is being burned by the sunlight. However, its regenerative abilities far outpace whatever damage the light is able to inflict. This light, something is coming. Get out of the way at once! Oh, listen, it's singing! This thing actually thinks it's a person! <laughs> I'm just taking this heads. <laughs> I don't know where the singing lessons came from, but I do know it's sure as hell trying to eat us. Aim for the tentacles with faces on them. Don't stop now. Focus on the next one. The 
Lost Crown. Okay. What's it on again? Is it, it's not on Steam yet, right? Like EA's or something? You're doing it for him? How sad. How pleasure. Oh, I did not think a double was happening. you have. <laughs> oh, you play on Switch. Okay. Alright, I may well do that. You're pretty sick on the deck. Gotcha. Are there any, any issues on Switch that you're seeing? Get it? Oh hell, that thing's huge. It's huge. Occasional slowdowns, but nothing frequent and major. Gotcha. To think it could recover from such a grievous wound. Ordinary attacks aren't gonna do shit against this thing. Hey, the guy from before has collapsed on the beach. That shade's got some kind of hard on for it. We should take him hostage. Shut your yap. I'm not in the business of using my blades on people. I'm getting owned. Alright, alright. Fine then. I guess we'll all just sit around a campfire and sing songs until we get murdered. Damn it. actually owning me. The number of spears flying our way is increasing. Yeah, I can see that. Damn it. My word, if this continues... Gigantamax. True. This guy's important to you, isn't he? Uh... Hyperbeam. Thing immortal? How can it withstand such an onslaught? I'm, I'm really scared, guys. We will be in grave danger if it unleashes that attack. We must stop it. Uh oh. 
Are we fast enough? Alright, we are barely though. I'm just holding I'm just holding right trigger. Hello? What? We just lose? Dude, why didn't it do damage in the end? I don't remember. I can't remember if this is premeditated or not. I think we're in trouble. Plot armor, it's so doing? true. Stop him already! My body won't damn it. Fuck! What are you doing? You're gonna get yourself killed! Oh, that's actually really sad. Don't hurt these people! So you've been lying to me this whole time? You, you're a monster. It stopped. Focus on the source of its magic. Aim for the head. Together, you disgust me. Uh, I wonder if there's dialogue more dialogue there than I missed just now. How could I know it's such a hideous body? So full of beauty. Man, that was sad, actually. A week later. Thanks. You really saved our bacon. You've all done so much for me. Offering a little refuge is the least I can do. I don't have the words to express how sorry I am. We all knew townspeople were out there being eaten by a shade. But I never imagined I was taking care of it this entire time. The fault lies with that foul creature alone, postman. Not yourself. I... I hope I can believe that someday. <sighs> All right, well, we'd better get going. There's someone else we need to break this news to. Fair enough. I hope to see you out there on the old letter trail again soon. All right. That was sad. Ooh. Hey, did you find my husband? Uh, yeah. The thing is... Wait, why are you hesitating? Is he all right? Please tell me he's all right. 
So many of the bosses are so much more Bible Thump this route. I know! It's so much sadder. Come on. Say something already. Dude, because the last time I told her the truth, this time should I lie to her? Dude, Vice will be so mad at me if I just lie to her. I should... I should try the second... I should try the other option, just for the content. You can see where 9S's initial route in Automata got it from. Yeah, for sure. Your husband, um... Left town. For good, I mean. Is that... Does that mean he fell out of love with me? No, this is... <sighs> is it because we were always fighting? Oh, honey. I'm so, so sorry. I actually loved fighting with him, you know? It was the only time I felt like we were really communicating. It made me so happy in this weird way. But I guess it was only me who felt that way, huh? <sighs> <laughs> Alright, this is really sad. I don't I don't like lying to her at all. I'd rather, I'd much rather her know the truth. It saddens this old tone to think we'll never hear those two at each other's throats again. If only I'd gotten to him sooner. Damn it. Do not let it burden you so loud. You did the best you were able. Man. Lying to her hurts, actually. That was not a fun, that was not a fun option. All right, I assume we're going to Popola. Yep. Hell's this, Sunshine? A letter. That thing wrote it for the postman. Ha! Man, that is some grade A chicken scratch! She probably copied the letters as best she could. So, what's it say? Doesn't matter. I think our friend's gonna wake up soon. Let's go. Dang. I bet we- I hope we figure out what that says sometime in the game. That is sad. Hey, Kane. Yeah? When you were threatening that shade on the beach the other day, how did you know it was trying to protect the postman? Just a feeling, I guess. <laughs> Alright. Say, are you available to discuss a certain sensitive oh, matter? No, I'm not. What is it? People are saying a shade has managed to enter our village. I was hoping you could track it down. <laughs> nope. Later. <laughs> Coast, the ferryman dead. You've had quite the rough trip. That poor ferryman used to tell me stories of the epic quarrels he had with his wife. He found the whole thing quite amusing. He loved her, though. He loved her with all that he was. I'm very sad to hear that he's gone. Still, you made it back safe, and I'm glad for that. 
Have you any new information about the key to the Shadow Lord's castle? I'm still working on the decryption, but I'm afraid progress has stalled. Loyal Cerberus might refer to a dog, but I've never seen anything that would fit the bill. It must be pretty complicated if even you can't decode it. Well, you're our last hope, so please keep trying, okay? I will. By the way, I was walking by your house earlier and I noticed you All had right, some Alright, time to go to Facade? Thanks. I'll do that. Time to watch Fira die? Oh, one last thing. Since the ferryman was missing work, I arranged for someone else to handle the job. I'll make sure they know to let you use the boat as before. Gotcha. Even without those we have lost, the world relentlessly continues to turn. Okay. We're going to facade. Um, I'm actually curious about this one because it's kind of just a dog. What I'm, what I think though, I might not watch all the Fira stuff again. All right, official notice, as per rule 25,656, please consider this your official notice that the King of Facade has chosen to enter into the ceremony of matrimony. Please lodge all objections and our congratulations through the official channel stated in rule 38,585. Sincerely, the Facade Royal Office of Marriage and other legally binding contracts and concerns. P.S. Hey guys, it's me, the King of Facade. Sorry this is all formal and stuff. Listen, I'm getting married. I really want you to come, so get over here! The King is getting married. Ah, uh, does this old book good to see a boy become a man? Probably not a good idea to turn down a wedding invitation from a king. Let's go to Facade. I'm gonna skip some of the cutscenes, I think. There's a lot of cutscenes in this route specifically, or in this quest specifically, I feel like. Oh there. Popola told me about you. Just tell me where you're going, and I'll take you there. No charge. Here we go. New cuts in here. They turned our beautiful forest into this. No, my brother. We cannot defeat these humans in direct combat. Have faith in me. I know they can learn to live alongside others. I know it well. The dog shares do talk, so you might not want to skip. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I won't skip those. I was thinking about skipping like the stuff with like fear and oh wait, even in those cutscenes, you mean even in those cutscenes the dog shades talk, probably, probably you yeah even in the cutscenes we've seen before I bet we still get additional context. Does it not strike you as curious to find wolves in the desert? It appears to be out of should it. They normally live in forests, yes. Deserts would seem to hold little sustenance for them. Well, we can certainly guess what they've been eating. Yeah, I should have those cutscenes. Not 100% true, but I think there's... Yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll, we'll, we'll check a few of them. I don't really want to watch Fear die again, man. That's so sad. Do you like flowers? Sure, I guess. Why? 
I love flies, but they're so fear out here in the desert. Alright, is this a random quest? No thanks. I have been thinking that I haven't been buying weapons. I have a lot of money that I feel like I should just start buying some weapons. Oh, oh well, I guess that guy has nothing. Oh, you came. It's been so long. We hear your days of bachelorhood are coming to a close, King. Congrats. Forgive my prying, but we are all eager to know the identity of your lucky bride. Oh, yes. How rude of me. How nice to see you again. Hold on. Fira? That's right. You have grown into a fine example of womanhood. I'm sure you will make a splendid queen. Kainé's gonna want to see this. <laughs> Indeed. Uh, but I'm truly glad to see you all. Did you know that my bride threatened to boycott the ceremony if you did not come? Emil, uh, sir. And you must be Emil. Pleased to make your acquaintance, Your Royalness. Congratulations on your wedding. Hack. Thank you. Um, I'm sorry, Kaine's not here, but. Kekot Gurunaro, itteshite sawataite tochi. Adachiata. Let me guess. She's outside, right? What nonsense! She knows she is welcome here. Yori sere, yari satache, toti tesre. And now, I insist that you stay with me tonight as honored guests of the royal family. Of course. How could we refuse? Alright, one of our brothers is caught in a human trap. Why do they hunt us? Bunch of flea ridden curs. Can't be letting them spoil the king's wedding, eh? No, dude. Come on. Are we the bad guys? Are humans the worst? The night before the wedding. To think they even have rules governing the timing and water temperature of a bath. What's it to you? You don't even take baths. <laughs> Kane? What is the matter? I don't like this. Weddings are festive occasions, you know? Should I even be here? We were invited here by the king, remember? Sure, but what about everybody else? This city isn't like our villages. It's all about the rules here. And since there isn't a specific rule about you, I honestly think they won't give a crap. Yeah, maybe. Will you at least procure a new set of lingerie for the festivities? Some spring colors, perhaps? Keep talking, book. <laughs> Emotional trauma the game. Oh. 
Oh. What's up? <laughs> Just having trouble getting to sleep. Something bothering you? No. The opposite, in fact. I'm just so excited about the wedding that I can't settle down. I bet it's gonna have streamers and dancing and fairs on unicycles and everything. <laughs> this guy's crazy. I'm sorta of jealous. I wish I was Fira. You'll find a nice bride someday, Emil. Huh? Oh, right. Uh, bride. <laughs> you must be tired indeed if you misunderstood that simple social nicety. Happy Pride Month, Emil. True. Yeah, that's not exactly it. I gotta say, I feel like he's gonna have a hard time finding anybody. I like Emil. Emil's great. But that'd be hard. The harvest was weak again this year, and my people are beginning to go hungry. Also, our quarrel with the wolves has taken a turn for the worse. The duties of a king are overwhelming. In truth, I feel somewhat guilty about holding the festival to celebrate my wedding. Everyone needs to blow off steam and celebrate once in a while. Indeed. Your people have earned a moment of rest and respite. I always think that word is respite. And it's like, respite makes me think like the complete opposite of what it actually means, of what respite is. I guess that's true. Plus, you want to make Fira happy, right? Anyway, life is better when you have someone to fight for. <laughs> That's not really in the rules, but perhaps it should be. Someone to fight for. Yes, I like the thought of that. I wonder if I made this joke the first time, but a girl worth fighting for. I feel like I probably did. I'm not sure though. Dude. Where are they getting all these spears, man? We've got like unlimited blade works. Be strong, young one. Fight! So sad. What have we done to earn such wrath? Cubans will pay for what they have done. The day of the wedding. Aww, weddings are the best. Yeah, There's yeah, Emil, is that true? Everyone's happy. It's just great. I'm kind of jealous. Is it really Aren't that great? Jealous, kind of? mm. Oh, come on. And thus, in front of these beloved guests, and per rule 904, I hereby request that you seal your union with a kiss. This sort of thing is always hard for me.
Man. That wolf is a shade. It seems to be like one damage to me. This is what you get, wolf. Man! They kill fairer than Bale? Can you... The audacity. Fear. I might skip. Skipping. I'm sorry. I don't want to watch it again. At least more of it. The king's grief is strong. I doubt he will stand down at this point. Yeah. I'm guessing he'll run off to take on the wolves any time now. Will we let him go by himself? Of course not. Hell, I hate the wolves too. Then we must prepare for the fight. It will not be an easy one. Yeah, what happened to what happened to him? Vice's audio there? I know. It's so quiet. <laughs> Are you ready for battle? Yeah. Time to avenge Fira. Fira is not the only victim here. These, these wolves continue to claim the lives of many people. I will not allow them to suffer anymore. As their king, I must take a stand. And if the rules say I can't, then screw the rules. Madness. The wolves who attacked were only a fraction of the pack. How will you fight them all? It's actually so free. I will not be defeated. Then count us in. That's too much for me to ask. We're not doing it for you, dumbass. It's for Fira. Kaine, you can't speak to a king like that. If this is indeed the plan, then let us make haste. We can ill afford another tragedy. Ferua. Thank you, my friend. Where are you going, my liege? To strike the wolves, the city is yours. My liege, that is a violation of multiple rules. Do the rules keep Fira from dying? No, my lord. What did Fira ever do? She was so close to knowing happiness, and then she had it snatched away from her. Jin. Yes, my lord. Was it Fira's fault well that she was so frail? Jin. No, my lord. Then get out of my way. Jin. I cannot, my lord. You, you are behaving like a fool. Anda. Ruami. Clearly, you are still young. Shika. How dare you!
あんだいえフィアおでとやりかきすべきだと食いてゲルだ All in our city loved her, did they not? ルラルラルペルアとカイザムでカイザムとアイタフィアアイザムでフィアジュレセキタとトナゼルガンでアンダーゼルガンヤーリツガシチクリトカイザムゼスタルペルアロータイリスラカンケンカケテシタスワレアルムーキエルトチギサンテキタアルムウキワセンクユリエオステキルタチエククギリスアーガイえカイザムヨリイキオツジデクゴヒュラカイザムチツストジーおわくれたしよりこうだたチよりうたい That's a great scene though I love that scene Is this all that remain? The humans will be upon us shortly. We can make our escape if we move now. I hear you, my brothers, and I share your desire to die with honor. Resolve is strong, and your pack thanks you. For the lives of our comrades, for the pride of, the, of our pack, death to the invaders. Okay, comrade. Kuri, Zergan, Tats Togra. This is their den. Sorry, that's so much of you. Forget it. It's for Fira. Let's move. The wolves appear to be targeting the king. He seeks the king of facade. Such dogged, unwavering defiance. Why do these beasts hold so much rage? The smaller wolves are not infected with shades. But as for the leader. If even one shade is here, then I have to kill all of them. <laughs> all these wolves are dead. It's bagel time. Say that to you to Aki. Get dice. So Mickey's chat was talking about warm bagels not that long ago, and then I had to bring up what Sean did. Sean Douglas did for us. 
and now he would call people warm bagel. Or was that Alex? Maybe it was Alex. Maybe it was both of them. And I told the, I told this chat that I still don't know what a warm bagel means. I still don't know if it's an insult or not. He had a human friend. And so he wanted to get along with humans. I already, already lived for far too, far too long. long. But you must you endure. Must endure. Go, go, live, live, and think, and think of me again. again. Thank, thank, thank you for being my friend. My That echo is kind of dank. <laughs> Alright, got the loyal server's key fragment. Grandfather. OG son. Skitesochitakare.Soetaksotokla.Sagostoishiki. <laughs> How else do you know it's a memory for it? I thought it was, it was just was kind of silly. She was placed into indentured servitude at a young age and forbidden to speak. In that harsh environment, with no family, she toiled day after day. Lyalis. Just as her future was looking bright. I believe that young Fira was perfectly content with the life she had. Cool. She was? Of course. Does this not sound like what she would say to you? She was terribly proud of her king. And now you must do all you can to honor her memory. Ah, uh, Dada, Doris, kill you. Oh, I'll do my best. I swear it. Could I do? You chill life. I'm sorry. I need to be alone right now. Kaizama, Chitada, Kete Taisoto, Chitaterunda. The king isn't allowed to shed tears in front of others. Is that another infernal rule? Lano Perua Tonli Arterua Chiwar. The people of the mask live and die by our rules. And sometimes we even break them. No. Fia. Isn't that right, Fira? The poor king. This is shades. This is the last of them. Now we can find the Shadow Lord and Yona. All right, let's go to Popola. We certainly can. Hold on, Yona. I'm almost there. Can't take the boat out right now because the canal's apparently crawling with shades. Hate to say it, but I'm afraid you're gonna have to walk. All right. Fair enough. I forgot we about this part too. To Popola and see if she has any final words for us. No eagle eggs to speak of. <laughs> Wasn't sure I got that item or not. What is it? So, we can finally save Yona now, huh? It would appear that way. 
What is it, lad? You've quite the pensive look on your face. Listen, I need your advice. It's about Kaine and Emil. This upcoming fight with the Shadow Lord is gonna be rough. And while I'd do anything for Yona, I'm not sure it's fair to drag the two of them into this. Are you truly worried about such a thing now? After all our merry little band has been through? Hey, the fuck's this hot garbage you've been spewing? <laughs> Someone's been eavesdropping, eh? Kaine, Emil, look, I just... Wanted to leave us behind? Why, so we'd be safe? Fuck that. Kaine's right. You accepted me. You told me we'd be together no matter what happens. Now it's time for us to return the favor. Don't make me start talking about loyalty and debts and all that. You know I hate mushy shit. But... If it makes you feel better, we're not doing it for free. After we rescue Yona, we're totally gonna call in a favor of our own. Sure. We're going on a journey to cure Kaine's possession and restore my body. You know what? That's fair. Gonna restore your body to this full metal alchemist? We need some alchemy? It's gonna be tons of fun. Just think of all the delicious local foods we can try along the way. I'm gonna eat way more than my fair share. So you better get ready to pony up. What does that mean? <sighs> hey, are we carrying her or what? Thanks, you two. We're gonna rescue Yuna. I swear it. Okay. I marvel at how relatively simple a task this retrieval process proved to be. Vagal acquired. What kind? Overthinking and from who does someone deliberately set us on this path? But uh, I don't care if it's a trap. Yona's waiting for me, and I'm going. I see. There it is. Alchemy. The science of understanding, deconstructing, and reconstructing matter. However, it is not an all-powerful art. It is impossible to create something out of nothing. If one wishes to obtain something, something of equal value must be given. This is the law of equivalent exchange, the basis of all of alchemy. In accordance with this law, there is tab there's a taboo among alchemists. Human transmutation is strictly forbidden. For what could equal the value of a human soul? Blueberry toasted with some whipped cream cheese. That sounds good. Oh dang, you missed an alchemy reference. You did indeed. Oh, what's up, Devola? You're really gonna do it? The whole village is buzzing, you know. They say you're gonna go rescue Yona. I guess it's really happening, huh? I'll bring her back. I promise. Um... About that. Yeah? Nothing. Never mind. Popola just loves to worry. Anyway, you be careful. Yes. Do be careful. Thanks. These girls don't want us to be careful at all. We they want us to die. They can't fool me. I don't actually have a toaster. I have a toaster oven, but it's not as simple and easy to like, just toast like a bagel, you know, with a toaster oven. I know Megan wants one, so. on I'm going to the lost shrine right are we ready you kind of prefer toasting bagels in the toaster oven see you don't have a toaster oven you got a toaster and an air fryer see I have a I have a toaster oven and an air fryer. And yeah. 
Wait, so Jordan, why do you prefer in the toaster oven over the toaster? To... Toasters are just easier, I suppose. I don't know. Maybe not marginally, like not much easier, but I feel like they are. Let's all make it back alive, okay? It's a plan. They have a speed convention toaster oven, so it basically air fries to- Oh, nice. Gotcha. Convection, not convention. Mine is really, really old. Mine is like my parents' old one, and we've had that thing for a very- They had that thing in their old house for a very long time. Take me a full minute to climb this ladder first. I'll get to use it. You just think it toasts more evenly, you have to get a wider slot toaster if you want those thick warm bagels. Okay, that's probably true. I was thinking that might be the case too. But, um, yeah. Maybe it's just my toaster oven's like 20 years old. It's probably at least pretty, it's probably pretty close to like 15, 20 years old. And I know they're not that, I know a lot of them aren't that expensive. Oh, dude, come on, I'm just climbing the ladder here. So maybe that's my problem. <laughs> Oh, does the buff carry into this next zone? We'll see. Should, right? Nope! Alright. Scammed. Break fifteen percent. I feel like I have something better than that for armor break. doing these things. 
You know what? I'm just gonna ignore that guy in the previous room. Wasting precious buff time. Actually guarded for the first time in the uh, first time in the stream. I just one shot these guys. What spirit capsule? Damage. Okay. I feel like there's still, like, a lot more to the game, but I don't remember. Like, I, I mean, I'm definitely not finishing today. I think I have to leave in, like, 20 minutes or so, so. Maybe a little bit short stream, but not too bad still. Getting up and then just dying. Why do they keep doing that?
Didn't I fall down this last time? I feel like I fell at some point, had to restart the entire thing, the entire sequence at some point. still don't actually know the way around this area. I just kind of like guess and it just works out every time. Yeah, I just feel like I'm wandering. <laughs> and if I end up somewhere good, then it's just my chance every time. Alright, we got there. Such an ominous sight. And yet I find it strangely nostalgic. Yeah. And now the path is open. I should be able to still save at this point, right? At some time in this, right? Even if I can't turn back, I should be able to still save. Yes. Okay, I'll be fine. Devil and Popola soon then. After this room, maybe? Maybe I'll do that fight and call it if I get a save. If I don't get a save, I'll just have to redo some of it. Guys, I can't remember if there are any save points in the castle. Oh, yikes. Okay, well, we'll see what happens. To who does the true voice speak? To whom does the true form show itself? You must answer. It can talk! I ask, why did humans disappear from the world? The hell is this? I believe this is some manner of password. Password? Yes. The correct answer should grant us access to the castle. I feel confident I have heard this somewhere before. To who, to whom, I, why did you must? Black disease. I answer, I ask, how can humans extend their? Separate body from soul. I answer, I ask. Uh, what did I answer last time? Where did human souls placed? I answer very well. You are acknowledged. You may okay, well yeah. then. It seems the way is open. Easy. Okay. Yep. Easy. Okay. It's the twins from your village. Popla, Devil. What are you doing here? Hey, any chance you'll just go back to the village? 
This is a very dangerous place. Even if you can find Yona here, you probably can't get her out. How did you get here? Shh. We're asking the questions right now. <laughs> we will ask the questions. What are you two doing here? I'm not going to answer that. You can figure it out yourself. I don't remember what I asked last time. We're here to rescue Yona. No dice, huh? Well, I guess we don't have a choice then. No, I suppose not. How sad. We didn't want to fight you. We really, really didn't want to. Devil, what's happening? Sorry, this fate was predetermined. Still, we spoke to truth. We really wanted to avoid this impossible. We were hoping to put it off for a hundred years or so. Until the next generation came along. What are you talking about? Are they shades? I don't think so. It's a lie! I don't believe it! Yeah. We never thought you'd grow to be this powerful. This is madness. Why do you block our path? You have no cause to speak so with us, Grimoire Vice. You are a traitor. Whoa. sealed verses of course we can the power came from us in the first place you were simply loaned a small portion of it vice are you all right why are you guys doing this why are you siding with the shades i should see the strength drop here I'm doing plenty of damage now, so that's fine. Oh gosh. <laughs> Why? The answer to every riddle lies within the heart of the Shadow Lord. The Shadow Lord? So you've been on his side this whole time? You must search for that answer yourself. You've got to face your own truth now. Please, enter the Shadow Lord's castle. Devila and Pope... ...fighting us. Yes, they do seem to be putting us through a great deal of... You okay, Vice? How odd. For long years, my mind and tongue have been my greatest assets. But now the latter seems to be... <laughs> Hell. Vice? Do not look at me like that. I am Grimoire Vice. I am Pope Wolf. I think I hear a waltz. Oh no, not these again. It certainly is a grand affair. I need a save. Bunch of dancing bastards. They're all shades. <laughs> Oh no, it's the rollers! I think we're locked in! It's 
not like I was planning to leave. <laughs> yeah, it's a bit late for that. I don't think I'm gonna get a save in time actually. I'm gonna actually save this part till uh, next stream. Stop coming! I'll open the next door. Cover me! Twice! Hmm? Oh, right. Protect the hustle, yes? Good plan. Let's go. <laughs> Get this it, thing. What are you doing? These things are so annoying. Open? Fine. I'll just break it down. Stop, you impatient fool. Oh my gosh. God damn there are no save points in here. Right. Open the we'll fuck up happens. already. Ugh. It might be better to save this for next time rather than rush through it. Freaking me out. Stop, please stop. This, this babies, they don't know any better. Oh, that's interesting. Kind of, what's wrong? We went for so long, now we can finally recreate them. Spread the lives of the children. Please, I beg you. We need to help Kaine. You okay? Yeah, but well, we got problems. Everyone, to me! There, there, little ones. Nothing to be scared of anymore. Mommy's here. Everything will be fine now.
need forgiveness, asshole. Kind of? Dude, look at me teching everything. Wait a second. Wait a second. Your heart is different. It ain't I didn't check that one, though. And it ain't sadness. What's going on here, Sasha? How should I know? Kaine, are you alright? I'm fine. Let's just... That thing got shredded. Shit. Oh dear. <laughs> Armored. Don't fall victim to such distractions. Come on, we have to keep going. Let's go. Let's ignore go through the door, yeah. Oh. This way, move. Right here, I remember this. Does it go up or down? I don't remember. Yep. Okay. 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 How can we deal with this thing? Please hurry. I'm so scared. Okay, we made that. Alright, not too bad. And the, Damn it, I the robots. Open. Nope, still the guy. Alright. Attack incoming! The entrance is locked too! It seems we are in a bit of a predicament. <laughs> We must protect our final bastion. Dude, this is like it's like greed. I'm not like that at all. Copium? It is. I'm the same way. Yeah. But just realizing that isn't going to help. It's too late for us now. It's too late for everything. We're too far gone, you know. That's why we Okay. It's going so fast, though. I have seven minutes. People with facade, that's right. Ah, oh, this is such a sick scene, too.
手土ち、汗よりきっとおきっとだあらクエルアトシデンチウセキヨンキラコクハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハフィニッシュスラウト、ライク、アフェクトスバーディア。ファイナルワンシスティムジスライク、ラッシュスライト。スパーディアのタイムウィッシュ。Especially if, like, because you know that there are going to be some juicy parts at the end, right? Like, there's just one save. Devil. Oh, look. You made it. We've been waiting for so long. Why are you doing this? It began 1300 years ago. Humanity, finding itself on the brink of extinction, undertook a last ditch rescue plan called Project Gestalt. Gestalt? Do you still not remember, Grimoire Vice? Then let's give you a refresher. <laughs> Not JRPGs, including long sequences with no save opportunities. Dude, I know. Vice! My. Mine. I. I remember. Devola. Opala. You are not human. In fact. <laughs> yeah, sometimes the truth can be a real bitch. You want to finish that thought for him, sister? All of us, every person standing in this room, are mere shells created by the true humans. What are you saying? You still don't get it? You aren't human. So then, humans, I mean, the true humans, are extinct? No, they still live on. You know them as shades. Each shade is a twisted remnant of what was once a human being. Crazy, huh? Now let's skip the part where you stand there with your mouths agape and just get down to business. Wait. Wait. Sorry, but we're gonna be needing that shell of yours. The rightful owner has been waiting for a very long time. The shot of Lord, of course. Please don't be angry with us. We are only doing our duty. Our endless existences have a single purpose to control the lives of others in accordance with the will of the true humans. You have your own motives, your own desires. And we have ours. I fear it really is just that simple. Don't speak such foolishness. <sighs> Sorry. We're the same. Tools in the hands of a master. No. I'm nothing like you. She's dead. <laughs> Devola? Devola?
Coppola. Are you crying? No. Don't die. You know, Popola, I understand now why we're twins. It's because... Because we were born without souls. <sighs> Devla, I can't stop the bleeding. Oh God, I can't stop it. There's no blood. This world is too... Uh, too lonely for one without a soul. There's too much emptiness. It's just the anime hair, but Devil just reminds you of Mara Luxia. What is that? Who is that? Our souls are missing. And yet somehow our tears still work. It's kind of weird. Sorry, sis. I love you. Devil! Devil! Don't you go! No! No, I can't be alone! Villain in Kingdom Hearts, gotcha. To be fair, you started it. You think you have the luxury to stop? You started it. You cut down my sister like a goddamn animal, and now you want to stop? Popola, wait! It doesn't have to. No one stops. <laughs> it's way too late to stop. No one stops. Oh, it's time to die. I don't even need strength counter. Okay. Please, don't do this, Popola. You and Devil were like parents to me! Those two have watched the world with a long time immemorial. The coolness of such a place is difficult to imagine. I do need this action. I don't want to do this! I don't want to fight her! Stop bitching and start fighting! It's the only way! Alright. <laughs> I'll go into that. And now that I'm going to get a text. I hate what my body has become. But there's something else there now. Something like pride, you know? I mean, without all this, I couldn't have become your friend. Goodbye, my friends. Thank you for everything. Emil. For so long, all I could do was destroy. But now, I have a chance to save something. No! Now get going, okay? Emil. Don't worry about me. I'm gonna be fine. Daishobu! Emil! Emil! Stable and Vice can't stop arguing with people. <laughs> I hope they can hold it together once I'm gone. Well, I guess they'll just have to learn. Here. 
near. I... Daisuke! I want to... Nope, that was not it. <laughs> I want to see all of you again. Just one more time. That is terrifying. I'm scared. Yeah. I don't want to die. Basically created the black hole. I said that last time, I think, but that's really cool. Crazy scene. No. Wait, did we see this last time? You took the lives of our family. This is the shade talking. You're kind of hard to kill, aren't you? Demon, you stole our children's future. Stop talking and get over here. Yep. You can die. What a chat. You gonna die too? I don't remember seeing this scene last time. Jordan is right. There are, in fact, no save points here. I hope I can make it. And I, I hate to rush it, but I feel like at this point I'm, I should. <laughs> Soon my body will arrive. Then we can be together just like before. Motion. She knows it's not her fault. Let's go.
It's time. Alright, so far we haven't really learned that much about this ending. Um, that's different. The only thing we've gotten a little bit of context on is the, like the pit, the floor shade. And that's literally it so far. As far as I know. Otherwise it's like the same as the last ending. Until this though, I bet there's gonna be something really juicy at the end here. Text came. This ends here. Strike hard. Hold nothing back. How could a mere tool hope to stand against the Shadow Lord? Don't speak in such a manner, fool. I am nothing like you. I was trying to drop this. I'm worried I still have like another 20 minutes. painful one it's going through I I guess I am hey pipe what's up we're about to end soon but just tell me again I'm sure they'll understand yeah please just just stop I don't want to do this anymore I don't need someone else's body I don't want it Someone else? No, Yona. They were ours to begin with. Inside this body, I can hear her. It's not my mom. She it's not, it's crying. Megan's mom. <laughs> she won't she stop crying. She says she wants to see her brother. See her brother. Yona's been possessed. This girl loves her brother too, just as much as I do. It's not right, you know. It's not right that she can't see him. <laughs> Yona, stop. Please. It's you. 
isn't it? Yes, it's me. Let's go home. Stop! Listen to me! Yona, please! Her shade was a G. Hurry, the shade that possessed her is gone. No, no. with you but why I swore to protect my sister and my friends if someone puts them in danger they will stand aside or be cut down now come on let's finish this Struggling here. No bother. One moment, please. You okay? Fine, just fine. All right, no, I'm not. Nice. It seems some headstrong idiot has decided to push me beyond my limits. I should have taken that job as a cookbook when I had the chance. Nice. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I... Only joking. I hate cookbooks. <laughs> but let's go out of the way. I have one final task to fulfill. The Shadow Lord is still alive here. This is really an awkward time. Here you Shouldn't go. we kill him first? Why to stop him, of course. But after that, it's up to you. Only you can see this battle to its conclusion. I wish you luck, my friend. You can't. I swore I'd always fight by your side. You are an exceedingly stubborn lad. You know that, yes? Perhaps that's why I've so enjoyed our time together. But I fear this is where our journey ends. Vice! Oh, and remember what I told you about using my full name. Well, forget it. I've grown rather fond of Vice. <laughs> nice. I knew you'd come around. Don't let it go to your head now. The armor of Vice lost all of his powers. I have 
something to defend. I have a reason to live. Delivery of all right. No, I'm not. It's very funny. Dude, I like I like Vice's voice actor a lot. He's really good. <laughs> Little Doctor Tenma. I don't think I watched the dub. I don't remember. I don't remember what I watched in. I feel like it was a sub. Vice is a good. I love Vice. I think he's my favorite character in the game. Yona. All I brought you was pain. Years of painful, lingering memories. I couldn't do it. I couldn't rescue you. I'm so sorry. I failed. Your brother failed. Was that truth? Damn. Whoa! Hang on. This is the OG. This is where we started the game. This is where Yona is. have this cookie don't worry about it Yona I'm already full this again that's what you said yesterday you haven't been eating anything lately <laughs> come on at least take half thanks <laughs> so those were the originals and they got put into shades why why this is the portal of truth I'm telling you being there for me oh here I brought your hat thanks Yona OG equals original gestalt <laughs> Is that the, uh, Jordan, do you know if there's a extra scene at the end? I don't know. So those were the originals. And so what, at what point in time did we, did it switch? That was the extra, okay. I'm gonna go pee real quick. Uh, I haven't gone the full te the full text meeting yet, so or whatever. So I don't know. Feeling pretty okay about it. I don't feel like I rushed it super hard that I like missed stuff. So I think that's important. All right, go pee.
Now was the extra at the beginning of the game after the intro segment says like 1500 years later before you see near and young at the village. Yeah, I do remember that. Okay, so 1500 years later and so 1300 years so 200 years after that scene is when it happens. I bet in the next playthroughs we'll get context into those parts. Okay. And I and I have the what it, well, my theory was that there were androids, right? I mean, naturally from Automata. That was my like natural guess that they weren't human for sure. I think that was my original theory. And it wasn't like, it was wrong, but it wasn't like, I mean, it's not that impressive of a theory, I think, right? Like, it's just like, if they've been around for 1500 years, they're probably not human in some way, so. But even in those 200 years, so 1300 years ago, and 1500, so the original scene was 1500 years, and then 200 years later is when something happens with Project Gestalt or whatever. So, but, even in those 200 years before, they would have died as humans from old age. So something even before that stuff must have even happened, is what my, where my head's at right now. I'm gonna check something real quick, sorry. It's less, that they're le it's less that they're around for 1500 years straight, too, because Devil and Popo mentioned waiting for the next generation during the fight. Next generation of what? They said that mid fight? Like, literally mid fight? Hang on, this is not over. Based a meal. We're living. Wow, that was crazy. I don't like them putting Can't Laura in the fight. Well my sister's body holds up. I think it makes it really hard to focus Kinda on the story. Move when you're just ahead. I wonder where everybody is. I can't wait to see them again. But before that can happen, there's some stuff I gotta do first. Like finding a body. Or at least some legs. I sure hope Kaine and Vice haven't killed each other yet. I swear, you leave them alone for one minute. <laughs> All right, so I don't know if that was like that. So the ending, it didn't seem like mega spicy or like anything mega revealing. Like not not like that. We're all shells and the shades of the humans revealing, you know, nothing like that. But it does add some context and does add some questions. So I think that's interesting at least. All right, I think we're good now. Um, yeah. All right, I'm going to head out. I really got to go. I had to go a while ago, though. I mean, I never got the text, so I guess I didn't actually have to go. But yeah, now I actually do. But yeah, thanks for being here, guys. Jordan, Shane, uh, Pipe, thanks for stopping in. Chase, thanks for stopping in. Uh, yeah, 
good to see you all. And, uh, yeah, friend, thanks for stopping in as well. All right. Hope you guys have a good rest of your weekend. Sword of Nails down the Shylord equals OG near in case you missed in Route A. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, right. I, I definitely nailed, got that in Route B at least. I don't remember what I theorized in Route A. But, yeah. Because, like, we talked about the original body and stuff in Route B. So, anyways. All right. See you guys. Have a good one.